So far, the attack towards Lepino is progressing well. We have managed to advance into the woods and have engaged the enemy there. However, they are entrenched and very stubborn. They are even using the swarms where our tanks can't go as fortified positions. It doesn't matter. Right now, our tanks are forming up to circumvent the enemy defenses and go straight for Slepino. Hello there, and welcome back to this awesome battle in Gravity Team Tactics Muse Front. This is the second part of the second battle of turn 1. Make sure that you didn't miss the previous episodes. So, let's continue, and this will be quite awesome. Okay, back to what's happening here. The artillery observer, he will call down a strike. Um, might not be necessary because I suspect the enemy might be pulling out under fire. That was to be expected, so the enemy still has a machine gun over there. That's messing us up. I don't think the Panzer II is in a position to support all that well. We have a Panzer IV here that we can bring up. So let's do that. Panzer IV move up and we do see enemies out in the open. And I do like it when they are out in the open, they make better targets that way. I'm completely okay with this. Ah, look at this, some enemies are trying to push across this swamp over here. But this is why I place tanks up on this hill. They will not enjoy this. I did order an attack in column formation. No, we don't want that. We want line formation, please. Okay, it's time to push the enemy back a little bit, push them out of their positions. And here our Panzer threes are advancing. Mercilessly. Machine guns are able to engage in long range. Look at the bullets fly. Peppering the area. Yeah, you are wounded. <laughs> yeah, we are hitting. We are absolutely hitting the enemy. Okay, you know what? Actually, I think making a grand push across the open ground is a pretty decent idea. And I might be able to do something else. I still have tanks in reserve back here. I might be able to just push them through this forest and break out into the open ground on this side. That way we will be able to hammer the enemies and pretty much cut them off. So let's prepare this move. These tanks. You guys, I want you to... Where do I want you? I want you guys to move over to here. I want you to do it fast. Okay, then the commander, I want him to move out to here. Let's get a move on. By the way, did I bring in those engineers? Uh, where are you? You are there. You are yeah, you're still there, kind of. Uh, that's the one guy. You are on the tank. Okay, I completely forgot about you. You need to get your ass over to here ASAP. Just get them in here. Okay, my Panzer threes are splitting up, widening their formation, getting ready to attack. I will take the Panzer twos, and I'll have the Panzer twos come out to this flank here. As soon as the Panzer threes are in a position to secure the advance. Yeah, the enemy is trying to get reinforcements into this forest. We won't let him. So this this was a very good move. This was a very good move to block this open area. 
no reinforcements will be able to reach this forest. And no escaping infantry will be able to get out. That's also important. Okay, I want this infantry squad to completely reform in this area. Over here, we are making good progress. But, yeah, my mortar observer, this fire could come uncomfortably close to my own units. It's a risk I'm willing to take right now, though. It will pin this enemy unit. Yeah, that was one of the mortar shells dropping, I think. And the accuracy is already down to 240. Uh, that's good. The lower this number is, the better. With each shell that the observer can see splashing, the accuracy will further increase. Until it is below 100 meters, then the mortars will go to fast fire and just blanket the area. Okay, so far so good. The tanks are out in the open, but I suspect there's something shooting smoke at them. Enemy gun, left side. Yeah, okay. That means we got to assault that. Okay, this tank, assault. This tank, assault. Go take out the gun. And you, you go up the middle. You three. Where's the gun? Don't see it anymore. There it is. I want you to priority target the gun. Take that out. What is it? That's an artillery gun. Okay. And machine guns. Okay, I don't care about the machine guns, but do take out the gun, please. Assault that thing, put some pressure onto the enemy. Go get it. Adjustment fire failed. Okay, the mortar strike was aborted because the observer could not see the shells splashing. That's good to know. Doesn't matter though. My tank strike that will come in will still be able to do the job. Once the tank attack rolls in, it will be all over very quickly for the enemy. This tank, he is engaging the gun, possibly suppressing it. And the other two tanks are moving up. That's a Maxim machine gun, I think. It won't be able to stop the tank. Might be able to break some sides, but nothing more than that. Yeah, the gun is having a bad time. This enemy machine gun position here, they are about to have a day that really, really sucks. And there are many more enemies here than I anticipated, actually. And there's a further gun. At least two guns, okay. Uh, take that out, please. Yeah, there's a lot of infantry here, actually. In that case, bring in the Panzer twos. Panzer twos, uh, move up the road, and then line formation. I want you like so, and then I want you to just roll over these enemies. Roll them up. Panzer threes, back here. You will support this push. I have to postpone my push across the open a little bit because I cannot leave enemy guns in my rear when I do that. That would be a very bad idea. Okay, you Panzer 3s. 
actually. Let's bring in first the command. Move to there. Yeah, my tanks are eating a lot of grenades, but they are also engaging the enemy, suppressing them, taking out machine guns and soldiers. So far, so good. Panzer twos are moving up. Tanks. Um, where do I want you? Actually, I want you to stay here for the moment. I will want you to push out into the open here. We can do that, by the way. Yeah, why not? Okay, you guys, go to this position here. And this tank is getting messed up. I need to get it out of here. It's, they lost already one crew member. So get out of the infantry trenches here. Nice if somebody could take out this heavy machine gun. You maybe. Go kill it. Before it can have a chance to fire the Panzer twos. These Panzer threes are still locking down the open ground. Yeah, we drove right into a hornet's nest here. You now what this tank? Run down the gun. Uh, the machine gun, there it is. It's under fire. You are under fire and you do have units on you. Okay. Disembark the engineers. And we will deploy them for a push through the forest. I want you guys to move up and attack this position. grenades at that poor tank. They are throwing a lot of grenades at my tanks in general. Tanks are fighting back there. And that's the issue when you don't have infantry. That is the issue when you don't have infantry. Oh, more guns. Awesome. The enemy has even more guns. Okay, yeah, you rush. There you go. That gun is done. The Panzer 3s here are starting their move. The twos, they are spreading out, starting their move. Enemy is expecting, uh, expecting, experiencing a lot of machine gun fire from my Panzer twos and other assorted units. Still enemy units in the swamp. So that's a thing. Somebody's under fire. The machine gun here. But oh, yeah, the gunner is actually dead. 
Oh, wounded. He's wounded. He's not dead. That's fine, though. Panzer twos are almost here. The tank force that I sent over to here is arriving in this position. It will then be ready to commence its push through the forest. Actually, they can already start to deploy. Deploy like so. The other parts of the tank force, these guys are holding position. The Panzer twos, they are in the forest here, so they are fine where they are. Panzer force, yeah, the Panzer force will just support. That's a lot of enemy infantry in this area. I did not necessarily expect there to be this many enemy soldiers. Machine gunner died, chassis and engine are damaged, sides are broken, but the tank is still fighting. Now that the Panzer II's are getting ready to roll up. Well, you guys are in trouble. Actually, I can get the Panzer II's to really mess with the enemy. And I know a way to do it. You will move fast, you will go in a dense formation while you attack. Go. That will mess them up. Command tanks, go up the road. Now if only I, I had more infantry, then I could take some infantry squads and bring them across the open towards Slepino and start to clear out the enemy's backfield. But I don't, so I have to make do with what I have, right? I'll just have to make do with what I have. Panzer force. No, that's not the Panzer IV. Here's the Panzer IV. They are over there. What about these Panzer IVs? That's what I'm looking for. Okay. You... Don't give me the infantry guys. Give me the tank. The tank is almost out of ammunition for its main gun. I have two Panzer IVs that are still in decent shape ammunition-wise. Where's this one? There and there. I will have you guys go here and stand by on that road. You will stand by for a push onto these trenches here. Panzer IIs are forming up. This could go horribly wrong. But I just count on my tanks breaking the enemy's morale and causing panic. This tank is messed up. Damn it. The enemy infantry is more effective with its grenades than I thought they'd be. Or there's a gun shooting something. I don't know. I don't think so. I think it's just the grenades. The tank is certainly messed up. There's still a gun. I don't know. Not sure. We will figure it out at some point though. Okay, the Panzer 3s here, they are getting into a position to start their advance. And they will do so in combination with infantry units. This squad is still looking pretty fine. Oh well. Both squads together might be just a thing to break the enemy. Also, this engineer squad here. This engineer squad here, let's move them fast over to there. I'll need them in a moment. You tank, go over to there. Enemies offering a ceasefire. They know what's up. 
they know what's up. And here we have the Panzer II's pushing through. counting on the enemy break. That's what I'm counting on right now. If they don't break, then this is gonna get very uncomfortable for these Panzer twos. But I hope the enemy breaks, starts to run away, and that it needs only a little bit of convincing with the 2cm autocannons to send them packing. Answer to pushing over such a large tree. Well, not entirely realistic. Enemy trenches. Looks like, yeah, the enemy did break. My Panzer twos are not being engaged right now. Which is good. Just fine. Okay, there's enemy infantry just in front of us. There's auto cannons. Break them. Come on. Break them. Force them to run. Don't get stuck inside an enemy trench. Well, it was not necessary to break this tree, I think. But now that you've done it, please continue. Extra sure the enemy trench is completely empty. Especially with my tanks over here in a position. Oh, did I push them already through? Oh, apparently I did. Okay, in that case, have the infantry follow. Have the infantry follow. Infantry, don't go fast. Go. 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 And where are those engineers? Go. Oh yeah, a lot of enemy units. Hello. Okay. 
Yeah, there's only one way this will work. Fast push. Fast and concentrated. Uh, go fast. Go. Panzer threes. Oh, that's the command tanks. Command tanks. Set up an overwatch position. That's these tanks. These tanks. You guys. I think I want you guys back on the road and I want you to push through this. Even though some of you guys are damaged. But it's fine. Get back to here. This unit. Now that they've pushed through to this point, I want you to push further and put real pressure on these guys. Panzer twos are still pushing through. Once they have done that, I want them to go out into the open and put even more pressure on the enemy. Those two tanks moving. Come on. Don't dilly dally here. Get a move on. You get over to there. Come on. Hurry up. If he's broken, can't move, then leave him. Yeah, the engine is damaged. Okay, in that case, we will leave you here. Panzer twos are receiving flanking fire, but it's okay. It's alright. The enemy is seriously messed up right now, and we can use this opportunity to push infantry across the swamp. We should be safe to do so. Oh, relatively safe. Let's get them in. Let's take this machine gun and set it up here. Okay, the enemy is being put under a lot of pressure right now. Which is perfectly fine. Uh, what about this tank? He is a completely intact Panzer three. Please move up to your comrades. These units are sweeping. There. This enemy is encircled. They will soon discover what that means. Panzer twos are still pushing through. And I think I didn't lose a single one of them. No, they're completely fine. They did exactly what they were supposed to. They panicked the enemy. Okay, I want my mortar observer. I want him to come to a position from where he can support this. Let's take this truck. Truck, go here. Go fast. You need to transport some. You guys actually... I want you to move to there. Let's, let's stay concentrated so that one of you doesn't end up in a swamp. Once you are there, I want you to turn and engage like this. Let's now start some real mobile warfare stuff here. These tanks are standing by to push once I get the other tanks caught on the road. Okay, one is immobilized. The other four are waiting. One is almost out of ammo and out of fuel. His fuel tank is damaged. Okay. So these three tanks. Alright. Here's what we'll do. I will push you through 
across the road, uh, on the road, all the way to the village. To this crossroad here. So you will attack, but you will stay on the road. And you will stay in a column. And just go all out and go fast. Go. Panzer 2s. They are still pushing out, actually. Go to here. There's a good position for me. And you can actually... Yeah, you can spread out... Like... Like... So. Now I do hope that this enemy infantry doesn't get a chance to recover from its shock. But they might. They might be able to. This tank formation is doing a wonderful job. Look at this. They're pushing across the open. Somebody's on the fire. Oh, once again, my machine gun. They did lose a few men. I suspect the fire is coming from over there. But they will just have to deal with that. My own infantry is successfully pushing across and will be able to mop up the enemy infantry here. This squad can already start the process. Like so... Yes. Start attacking. These tanks are starting to move down the road. Very soon these tanks will just run down the enemy positions. Force the enemy out of their trenches, force them into the open, run them down. That's the plan. Okay, this tank formation should now wheel around. I will help with that. Get in the line. Get out. Great. This is looking absolutely fantastic. This tank formation, now it's the time. You. I want you to stay close together. And I want you to push fast. Line formation. And... You know what, actually? If I do this, you will get into a V-shaped formation, right? Push through and push through to back here. You will make sure that nobody is escaping. Yeah. The tanks are getting into a V-shaped formation. They're starting to push. Look at this. Look at this machine gun fire. Get out into open ground with your tanks, you can really employ their mobility. And while the Panzer III does not have a whole lot of firepower or a whole lot of armor, it does have some decent mobility. And when you're able to use that, it gets really beautiful. So the machine guns are absolutely brilliant for suppressing armies. Enemy trenches that have been vacated. 
by the troops. It's just awesome to see. Yeah, these tanks, they are taking no prisoners. We did take some captives over here. So yeah, the encircled enemies are starting to give up. I'd like to see that. Yeah. They know they are done for. What about you guys? Didn't I order a move up the road? Why did you stop? To fire, I guess. But please move faster. Now I do need to bring along some infantry. Uh, this squad here is looking pretty decent still. I'll have you run over to here and you will get onto this tank. And you'll get into the village. I have other units on this side that will continue to sweep the forest. Everybody is very depleted already. Could. Now another thing that I could try is I could try to get tanks across to this village, but I kind of don't want to go through this big forest. I could try to get around it though. So I will use some tanks that I still have in reserve over here that are currently doing nothing. Vita, uh, you are actually in a decent holding position, so I kind of do want to leave you there. Yeah, you know what, I'll leave you there and I'll just use you to support the infantry in the forest. Who else do I have? Lohberger, where are your tanks? You already pushed to back there. Okay, you know what, the force that I am assembling here will be enough to achieve my goals. These tanks will be able to push towards Mishkin. Or even the Panzer twos. I can use their rapid movement. Yeah, let's do that. They will be well used like that. Column formation, stay close together. Yes. Well, not too close. Go there. And then push to here. And from there, you will get onto the road. And you will go here. And once you are there, oh, yeah, there are enemy positions here. Definitely. A lot of enemy positions, in fact. So, this could still be an issue. This could still be an issue. But you know what? I feel that the Panzer II is up to the task. Like so. Let's get them moving. the infantry. They are now close to the command tank. Please embark on the tank. I will have this tank formation move up the road very fast. However, that's also what I told this tank force to do and they are not really doing it. So let's try again. You stay on the road, move fast. Column formation. Alright, alright, alright. Go. Hurry up a little bit, come on. Don't be like that. I know the road is pretty crap, but seriously. Okay, you. You now do the same. Get the infantry all the way into the village. A 
It's not a lot of infantry, but it doesn't need to be. And these tanks made it all the way back here. Here they will set up, and we'll just make sure that no infantry escapes across the open here. That will help to secure the village. I do need to bring up... Damn it, did they disembark? They did, didn't they? Yeah, they did. Okay, let's try this again. You guys, get on the tank. What can I do to not have you disembark from it? Maybe if I... Order everybody to hold fire. That might work. They might get off the tank because it fires. So... Everybody, hold fire. Mount the tank. Come on, don't be like that. Get on. There you go. Is the world really this bad? Can't you move faster? Come on. Run, run, run. Panzer 2s are still moving. Let's see, let's try again. Into this village, stay on the road, move fast, and don't lose your infantry. Actually, I could have taken the half trick and moved the infantry with the half trick. That would have been better. Let's bring the half trick over to here, just in case. Now, who are you? You are the Panzer Force. Okay, these two Panzer Force, I want you guys. I pretty much want you into the village as well. Or near the village at least. I think you will be very helpful in this position. Enemy infantry still here in the forest. Presenting a little issue. I need infantry, but I don't have it. <laughs> Not enough of it at least. Um, hmm. Who do I have that's still in a decent shape? You guys. I could use you in a different way. I also completely forgot about my mortar guys that I wanted to get in. Mount up. And who are we engaging here? Enemy is trying to... Look at these sneaky little shits. It looks like if enemy infantry is trying to get into the village by going around it. Okay, you take up a defensive position in these houses. It's good that I left you there. I knew it. I suspected that they would try this when I saw them moving all the way back here. Okay, now what? Um, I do have... Who do I have here? I have these engineers. They might be able to get on a tank and help out in that forest back there. We might need the help to clear out that forest. Yeah, mount up. You go ahead and secure this area. Make sure there's nobody in there. You guys. Secure this. You guys, please go ahead and secure... Secure this here. Make sure the enemy is dead or surrendered. Okay, now that we ordered everybody to hold fire, the tank is actually 
proceeding with the infantry on the back of the vehicle without losing them. And it's going quite fast as well. Tattoos. I'm now approaching this road here and we'll start and move towards Mishkina. This is looking very good. This is looking like an extremely bad time for our enemies. And once I have these Panzer Grenadiers in the village, who knows? Um, Depending on what I find back here, I might accept the ceasefire. Just take my wins until this, up until this point, and be happy about it. Might not be a bad idea, in fact. Okay, Panzer Force are moving up the road and engaging, which is quite okay. Enemy contact. Where? Back here in... Yeah, they are trying to get into the village. You little... I knew it. I just knew it. That's why I left these guys back here. The enemy really likes to pull things like this. This is something they really like to do. Okay, I have the command tanks here. I will have them run down the enemy. Uh, where's the other one? They're in the forest. Okay, you know what? That's fine. Run them down. Make sure that we kill them. Something is apparently engaging the Panzer IIs with smoke rounds. I don't know if it's artillery or something else. Maybe a gun somewhere. We need to be careful. We need to be very careful because of this. Hmm. Can the Panzer threes please reach the village already? Fast moving. Why are you waiting? You three fast move. Actually, don't just fast move. I want you guys on this road as soon as possible. Don't be stupid. Come on. Don't hold up, everybody. Yeah, okay enough to do. Oh, come on. By the way, where did I lose the Panzer Grenadiers again? There. Okay, in that case, you guys get into that trench and I will get the half track up to you. And I'll load you into the half track. That's a bad idea. This tank is free to open fire once again. I guess the infantry took some shots because they have switched to open fire. Panzer twos moving down the road. Almost out of the forest and then they will be in full sight of whatever is here. It's risky. It's really risky. If the enemy has a gun here, which he might, this could be a very quick death for my Panzer twos. But we'll see. We will see more enemies. Where? Apparently we are encountering enemies somewhere. Since I have so little infantry, I actually need to use tanks to control clearings in the forest to control approaches to make sure that no infantry slips into my back lines that's extremely inefficient to do 
Okay, I do need to put some effort towards these guys back there. That's why I will take this infantry squad and I will have to move over there. Let's take everybody who's still holding here somehow and move them up. You, I want you there. Okay, so things are happening with my Panzer twos. That's an artillery strike happening. Point taken. We have the village. Panzer twos are driving into a lot of artillery fire. So my guess is that this here is an artillery observer. Or a mortar unit. Oh, it's a mortar unit! Oh, I like killing you guys. It's only light mortars, so my Panzer II should be able to deal with that. Go get him. I think the battle is almost over. I really think it is. This won't continue for long. You tank, turn that way. Knock down the tree, exactly. And see if there you can spot anybody moving over there. Ah yes, the Panzer twos. It is indeed an enemy mortar unit. Yes, enemy mortars. You guys. You're in trouble. Because now the Panzer twos are starting their attack. Ah, oh, this is wonderful. There's nothing they can do. There's literally nothing that they can do. Every time one of these mortars fires, it gets identified and then shot to pieces. And once more panzers join the fight, well, it's gonna be bad for them. Okay, did the half truck arrive? Not yet. It will arrive soon, then we'll take these Panzer Grenadiers and we'll have them up in the village. Now, this tank force. You know what, you guys, you could do me a favor and sweep the forest. I think that you will be able to accomplish this. Or. These guys can do it. Yeah, why not? You will go ahead, stay in your wedge formation, and you will you will go and sweep the forest. I don't envy you guys. But they're still enemy mortars and they're still able to fire because they're sitting inside their trenches. I need tanks over here with their high explosive shells. Where are the Panzer IVs by the way? Is this a Panzer IV? No, it's a Panzer III. Those must be the Panzer IVs. Yes, once the Panzer IVs get over there it will be over. But I can already take these Panzer threes. Who are you, by the way? You are the command tanks. Yeah, you know what? Get a move on. Okay, you mount up. I think I will have you... I might actually have you guys engage these enemies over here. But I think I feel that I need more forces to pull that off. You and you. 
you are not even from the same unit, are you? Who are you? You are engineers. I don't want to move you apart all that much. Somebody has been destroyed. Okay, they actually managed to disable one of the panzers. But the enemy retreats, so the battle has been won. It's over. It is over. The enemy is pulling out. It's a shame that we lost the Panzer II in the last minute of the fight. But a mortar grenade must have landed directly on it. You know what? No, I don't want to run you down with a Panzer II. You just kill the thing with your grenades. I can get the Panzer II a bit closer to you. However, it's too late. Just a few seconds remaining. And that's it. That's it. And I feel that this was a very important battle. We lost 59 men, the enemy lost 274. Absolutely insane numbers. Really insane numbers. Let's have a quick look on the battlefield. Can we see what happened to the Panzer II? Um, I guess this happened. 50 millimeter mortar shell onto the engine deck. That did it. Fire. Yeah immediately set on fire. Let's have a real quick look about how my tanks are doing. Panzer 3s are okay. Here somebody needs a repair, a Panzer 2. What happened to you? Ah, well. The gunner... No, this is the one that was messed up. So the crew member is alive and the Panzer can be recovered. It will need some repairs. The gun mechanic is down. I don't know if the tank will go back into service, to be honest. Not if we only have one man on it. Maybe uh, some men from the other crews will be transferred. These guys are looking fine. These guys are looking fine. These guys are looking fine. Everything alright. Yeah, the Panzer II has been burned. Here we have some necessary repairs on our Panzer III's. Let's have a look at those. You are absolutely okay. You aren't. Oh. Oh, okay. Jesus. 301 hits received. Mostly machine gun rounds. So let's only show what managed to penetrate. A few machine gun rounds into the machine gun here, messing up the sides. The enemy AI is trying to aim for weak spots. Chassis was damaged. Fuel tank was damaged. What else was damaged? The machine gunner, he was disabled, probably by some of these hits here. What else happened? Track, chassis, engine, fuel tanks. Engine, yeah. Okay, the infantry was throwing grenades, one landed on the engine deck and messed up the engine. Another one managed to damage the fuel tank. Tracks were damaged. Okay, the grenades did some damage to this tank and it will take a lot of time to repair this. What about you? Uh, you had a similar fate, I guess. Yeah, lots of machine gun rounds. And lots of grenades. One of those damaged the engine. Gunner and commander were both disabled. By, yeah, grenades thrown on top of the tank. Battery was damaged. Track was damaged. Okay. So two tanks severely damaged. They will need repairs. This one damaged a little bit by an infantry grenade, light and chassis, that's nothing, that will be repaired in two hours. A Panzer IV was apparently damaged. He didn't know by what though. He did not receive a hit, so maybe this is damage from a previous battle. That's possible. What is damaged? Lights, track, chassis, yeah, that will be repaired, no problem there. So, 
enemy infantry or the enemy had not much stuff remaining let's see what we were actually fighting what unit was this they had a lot of stuff so we were up against leningrad infantry school yes absolutely submachine gun company recon platoon submachine gun company artillery platoon these were armed with 76.2 millimeter regimental guns 1927 um, pretty decent guns for fighting infantry, absolutely or almost useless when fighting tanks. I won't say completely useless, but not great. So that's why I felt very confident in just attacking those. We would have completely overrun them if it wasn't for all this enemy infantry. What else was there? Leningrad Infantry School, 7th Company, 5th Company, so these are regular riflemen, I guess. Yeah. A machine gun platoon, two of those. Yeah, these machine guns. Oh, look at him. We have some captures. Yes, that's good. That's great. What else? 14th Artillery Brigade. So this was one of the spotters. And the spotter is actually still alive. Or is he? He looks to be alive? No? Not sure. Because it does say... No, he's dead. Sorry. That was a sniper here. They had snipers. Hmm. And he's dead. However, I don't know what other thing this is. A uh, mortar platoon. My guess is that we encountered these guys at Mishkino. And another mortar platoon, also at Mishkino. Two mortar platoons were back here. Artillery brigade, anti-tank artillery regiment. We encountered these guys next to Slepino. What else is there? 14th artillery brigade, second battalion command. What do we have here? Uh, okay, Dushkims, or in this case they are referred to as AA guns, which they can be used as certainly. These are heavy machine guns. If you aim, aim them high enough, they can hit a low-flying plane, sure. More of those. They had a lot of those, but some of them surrendered, so that's nice. Yeah, lots of machine guns, Maxims and Dushkims. And another infantry company. So, the enemy was all infantry, backed up by a lot of machine guns and mortars. Thankfully, 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 the enemy set up his mortars all the way back here in Mishkino. And I don't think that their mortars were able to support them. If they had set up these mortars, I don't know, maybe here in this area here, behind the forest, then these mortars would have been able to cover my approach and do a lot of damage. Even so, the enemy artillery that they did call in caused some significant losses to my engineers. Something that I do not appreciate, losing a whole squad to some artillery shells, my god. With all that said, let's go and uh, return to the operation, right? And here we are. Let's be routed. Infantry fatigued, yes. But we did manage to drive a nice line into the enemy's defense. We have broken through to Slepino. We have broken through to Mishkino. And now Mas uh, uh, Maximovka. Maximovka needs to be taken next. That's a valuable victory point, so I want to take that. And that was it for this turn, apparently. Didn't I order advances on this flank as well? What happened to that? I guess the time is up or something like that. That, hmm, interesting. Maybe because these infantry units were present in this battle, they did not get to move again. I guess that was it. Yeah. 
Anyway, this turn has been completed. Let's go to the next turn and see what happens now. Okay, so this is what happened historically, basically. A lot of stuff. And we will talk about this in the next episode. For now, let me just tell you that we are gaining points. We captured some key points, we are gaining some points from that, but we still need to do a lot more to win this campaign. Okay, that's enough for today. Thank you very much for watching. I do hope that you enjoyed this battle as much as I did. It was an interesting one. Very infantry centric on the enemy's part and very tank focused on my part. And while it is definitely awesome to have this many tanks, it does present you with some problems if you don't have the infantry to back it up. We'll see what we can achieve in the next turns. Until then, have some great days and goodbye.